All right. Welcome into the STR podcast, otherwise known as the Start the Rebuild podcast. I'm your co-host, Tim Fournier, alongside Ian Mills. What's going on, guys? It is not a Friday. We usually do these on Fridays. Not true. Thanks. It is a Thursday, uh, Thursday the 17th of October, two weeks until Halloween. We got Thursday Night Football, the Sean Payton Bowl coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh, And we'll start with that, not the Sean Payton Bowl. I don't want to, but we can talk about that if you want. But Halloween is the 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 Halloween is one of those holidays in my opinion. Wait, 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 before we before we start, we just have to mention it's the oh, Fred Jackson episode. It is the Fred Jackson. It is episode 22. Episode our guy, my hero. Some may argue it's the Jimmy Butler episode. I would never say the Jimmy Butler episode. Even but it is opinion. 1000% the Fred Jackson. Ryan Fitzpatrick literally tweeted, I think yesterday, maybe two days ago, that if he had to start a team with any of his teammates that he ever had, and he played a lot of teams, presumably, and not on yeah. a good Fred Jackson was the one he picked. So shout out wow. to Freddie, Freddie Jackson. Uh co favorite bill of all time. Division three, my favorite bill of all time. Him and Stevie Johnson, neck and neck. Uh, I thought Freddie Jackson, Fred, I don't know why I call him Freddie. Fred Jackson was going to win MVP. Was it 2011 when he had like 1500 scrimmage yards in 11 games and then was just like out for the rest of the year. Yeah. But that led into, uh, the CJ Spiller breakout, no? Yeah. But then he just kind of wasn't, I don't know. He just kind of fell off. Yeah. All right. But (laughs) Yeah, I'll love I'll love to see J. Spiller go Clemson. Yes, but Halloween. I just needed to. We need to get that out at the top of the show. It's episode twenty two, the Fred Jackson episode. The Freddie Jackson. I don't know. I keep calling Freddie. Uh, Halloween. Halloween is one of those holidays. I think it transitions almost seamlessly from like kid to teenager to college, mm-hmm. and then there's probably a little bit of like when you're in your late twenties, early thirties, where it's just kind of. I mean, it's so kind of you can kind of treat it like you would if you were in college. And then once you're a parent, it has like a whole different different mm-hmm. meaning. Sure. And I feel like, you know, people try to act like Halloween's a kid holiday, kid holiday, which, you know, inherently it is. But just a very versatile holiday. You know what I mean? If you want to go get candy, go get candy. You want to hang out with your little cousins? Go hang out with your little cousins. No big deal. You want to go party? Everyone's partying on Halloween. It's just it's just a very versatile holiday that I'm I'm looking forward to. I love Halloween. Are you, a, are you a scary movie fan? I don't know if we've ever talked about this. No. I know no. you're a big movie guy in general. Big, big movie guy. Well, I just watched a movie uh, earlier today. But uh, no, I'm not a big scary movie guy. Um, They kind of, I don't know. I just haven't seen it enough, I think. I haven't seen the right ones. I, I'd put it that yeah. way. I mean, this is kind of, a, I love scary movies because, I don't know, not often am I in a situation where I'm like, like trying to like, look at the screen and like look away and like you yeah. get that like anxiety like jump scare feeling which i think is cool um and i think a lot of i mean this comes down to just being a good movie or not but a lot of scary movies are just like scary to be scary with like jump scares and stuff and those are like whatever like i enjoy them but there's a lot of scary movies that have like legit like really interesting plots which what, uh... when you combine both they're... yeah what do you suggest? Like, what, what what's like the best horror movie, scary movie? Um, because I've liked the one. I I actually can't even think of any scary movie I've seen, like actual horror movie. It's just I've never been into the jump. Is not the best example at all. And um, but like the other thing, maybe past like the plot, like it's just like interesting concepts to me. Um, like have you seen like the Saw movies? Yeah. Oh, oh, dude. I don't know if you count that as a scary movie or what. Like, it's a scary movie, I think, or like a Halloween movie. But I think just like the concept of that is like, whoa, like, what if that happened to me? Like, how would I get out of this like insane thing? Yeah. It's funny you bring that up because back in high school, I watched the my first and only saw movie uh, saw movie I've ever seen with you at your house. Is that when I, we like, watched Jigsaw? Like the new, new one? It was really new. It was like... Yeah, it was yeah. That's new. like the newest one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... I mean, this was like probably seven or... Six or seven years ago. So we were definitely in high school. Yeah. Um But that's the only Saw movie I've ever seen. And it was like, yeah, it was cheesy. It was dumb. But like, it was certainly like entertaining. I'll say that much. Yeah. And that was probably the worst one of the whole franchise. 
Probably, yeah. Um, yeah I'll agree. About some that. other ones, there's like Insidious, which I watched mm-hmm. when I was really young, which like made it way scarier for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just it was a lot of just like unsettling things. Like it's your classic like there's demons in the house and people are getting possessed, and then like they got to go into like hell and save their son because he's trapped or whatever and uh but it's just like there's stuff that's like really like bone chilling unsettling which is like i don't know i just don't get that feeling as a human normally like we live yeah. relatively easy lives yeah and it's like i don't know i always find that stuff interesting i'm watching one thing right now someone recommended it to me called the haunting of hill house and it's a 10-part netflix series um and it's very interesting. There's like a bunch of plot twists and I don't want to give anything away, but it's essentially of a family that grows up in a house that's haunted and how it like affects them for the rest of their lives. Okay. It's it's pretty interesting. I would recommend it. I would say the acting, especially in the beginning, is like, not that I, I get like really annoyed when I watch a movie and I'm like, I feel like I could say that like I would not be a good actor, but I'm like, that just like did not sound normal at all. And like I, the script is weird. It, yeah, it drives me crazy because there's a little bit of that. There's yeah, I was watching a movie the other day uh called Queen Pins and it was like so it was it was a stark uh contrast because it was basically like you know, a, a height not a heist movie, that's not a way, good way to put them, but like these people were doing a crime and the other people wanted to catch them, right? So it was like two different groups of people, like these two one detectives kind of and then like his guy who gave him the lead and then the two people committing the crime and all their scene like they weren't in the same scenes with each other until the end of the movie and the investigators like the actors of them were like incredible and not incredible but like they were it, they were viable like pretty good in at times very good mm-hmm. and then the other scenes where it was the criminals it was like the worst acting i'd ever seen and it was like so weird to to have both aspects of that in the same movie um but yeah yeah i feel like um i okay i I tend to relate everything to sports and i feel like sure like we literally in the last episode related politics to sports and maybe you know that can be our niche thing is that's how we just understand life is how we put it through the lens of sports i feel like acting in movies is a lot like the like um like college to NFL, like the differences, like when you're watching a college basketball game and like someone gets fouled and they go to the line in the NBA, you're like, Oh, it's two points. And in college, you're like, Oh, well there, there's only so many people that are that good at this. Like, and this is not a guaranteed two points at all. And it's like, once you like realize the like amount of movies that are out there, there's only so many people that are like, good enough to deliver those lines and stuff fair enough i don't disagree. like there's only so many like good offensive linemen in the nfl like stuff like that i think making a movie in any genre it's sort of like i feel like i almost feel like it's like baseball mm. in a lot of ways because if someone's killing it you notice it. Like if someone's like, yeah. if something's like in your face, super good, you know, like, uh, like you're not going to miss Leonardo DiCaprio on the screen. Right. Like there's a handful of guys like that, you know, his entire filmography is insane. And then there's a lot of people who are just kind of, they're doing their part. They're doing their one ninth in the lineup. They're doing mm-hmm. their part in the bullpen. They come into the game and they have, you know, you know, they, 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 they pitch an inning, you know, maybe allow a hit, but they, they get out of it clean, things like that. But if someone's horrible, like if someone's batting average is below 200, if you're a bullpen guy and you come in and you blow up the game, you give up four runs in the inning, change the outcome of the game, people notice. And I feel like that's sort of what acting's like. It's like mm-hmm. there are very few people who can like kill it and you're like, oh, wow, like you notice how good it is. Like you notice in the moment how good it is. Acting, in my opinion, is almost like you don't even want to notice the quality. You just want to be like consumed in it. You want to be like, like, oh, this is just this is the person that is happening right now. But if it's bad, then you really notice. And it's like, oh, that's like and that's kind of how I feel about baseball, because. Maybe like offensive line play, 
Well, that's what like I when was... there's a really good left tackle, like you don't even notice that like Eric consumed in it. But if there's one like right guard that gets right. blown up every single play, the whole thing is the real. whole thing falls apart. And that's fair. The reason I brought up baseball is because I think movies are so much more than just acting. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the acting sure. is a big is big. Like you're gonna notice it, but like the subtlety of directing and editing most people don't notice it like if you're not paying attention to it you're not going to notice it but it's really what changes the movie in a lot of ways and i feel like a lot of that can be said with baseball too and it's just like doing again doing your one ninth like moving the line over working a walk working a seven pitch walk you know and it's just like almost that subtlety of of you're not going to you know you're not going to notice maybe that that one hit isn't going to you're going to see in the box score, it's not going to count for much, but you're, you know, it actually, Oh, maybe it scored two runs, you know, two outs, a single to right field. And they scored two runs, like something like that. I I, I feel like maybe I'm forcing this uh, uh, metaphor a little bit too much, but if we're comparing it to sports, but yeah, I, I, I um, acting is art. I think that's kind of the, <laughs> the thesis of this uh, conversation. I feel like it's always something I like when I see bad acting. I'm like, dude, I could do better than that. But if I was actually in the situation, I would be awful. For sure. Acting is insanely hard. It and then it's sometimes insane. like, I mean, sometimes it just would probably just take a, a lot of tries to like get it right. Yeah. And then you have and to hope. It's like, how much time do you have to do this? Right. You have to hope the director like gives you the takes, gives you the reps. Yeah. Gives That's you fine. direction, I guess. Yeah. Um, along the lines of Halloween and like stuff like that. About an hour ago, I was cutting a sweet potato. Um, I'm uh, I was cutting it thin because I'm gonna make sweet potato fries part of my dinner tonight. And I sliced my finger open, and it's bleeding everywhere. So uh, and I don't have band aids. I live alone in my apartment, and I just really don't want to go get a band aid. So I just wrapped paper towel around and then put just like normal scotch tape around it. So is it that still happened. bleeding? Um it like stopped for a while and then started again. It was like a hefty chunk of my finger, to be honest. But uh <laughs> I get that you might want to get that checked out. At least put some like neosporin on it or something. Yeah, I don't think I have that either, to be honest. If you don't have band-aids and you probably don't have neosporin. Yeah. So. Nah, it'll be fine. I mean, I, I, I've had worse, but yeah. uh, dude, that's the thing. It's my girlfriend insists all the time I go to the doctor. I'm like, ah, oh, this is acting up. Oh, I don't feel good. Like I have major, uh, not major. That's not a good way of putting it. But I've had, I have a history of like stomach issues. Mm. Um, and my girlfriend's like, just go to the doctor, go to the, go to the doctor. And I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, I know it's just, I'm eating bad food or like I'm drinking too That'd much coffee. Something. Like it's like one of those things. I'm like, I don't care. I don't want to go. When to there's doctor. like a clear, like directional, like this. When is I'm like, thing. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Hmm. And then she went to the doctor to get something checked out, and the other day, not to give her HIPAA, you know, HIPAA violation, but and 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 then they did, she was just like, yeah, they didn't do anything. Like they just like they pre- prescribed me over the over the counter stuff, and I was like, yeah, I feel like it's never really as helpful as you think it is, and unless it's like a big problem, right? When doctors matter, a, doctors matter. Hot take: doctors matter a lot. Um, well, but matter, oftentimes, oftentimes, if you go to a doctor for like the first time you've ever been there, they're not gonna get you. You know, they're gonna probably. They're going to just be like, yeah, man, you stop eating that food. Yeah, it's kind of like run defense in the NFL. It's yeah, like, <laughs> You don't need to have the best run defense in the world, but like when it's bad, like you can't do anything. You are I, screwed. I acquainted I acquainted to a rookie quarterback, actually. Mm. Almost like a, like a, you know, if you're an offensive coordinator with a rookie quarterback, you don't really trust him maybe to run the whole playbook. You know, do you trust him mm. to, to throw the ball downfield if you're not giving him play action before something like that? Right. You know, you're going to limit the playbook. And then once you get to know him a little bit more, you're going to say, oh, we can open that up a little bit. Mm, a little spider two by banana. <laughs> spider two by <laughs> banana. Whatever happened to that? No, just kidding. Mm. No. But, um, yeah, so very, uh, massive topic change 
Big. Um, so that show I was just talking about. Oh yeah. It was recommended awesome. to me by someone. Yep. And this has been like a topic on my mind lately. And none of these people that I'm about to like half talk about would ever watch this. So I feel fine talking about it. But within this like new friend group that I've had as I've moved to a new city, um, there's a, there's some females in the group. And might be interested in one of them. She hey. was the one that recommended me this. But, like, you never know. Like, it's very hard to tell, like, if there's interest on the other side. And it's just, like, and I'm stuck in this like, between a rock and a hard place because it's I just moved to this new city. I just, like, finally got, like, solidified fr- uh, friend group where we hang out. Like, normally we all hang out once during the week and then, like, two days on the weekend. Like, that's what we've done the last few weekends, the last mm-hmm. few weeks. And it's, like, really forming and it's really awesome. If I tr- if I like show my interest in kind of like single the one girl out that I may or may not be interested in, it's like makes it awkward. If and it doesn't says, work, and it do- and she says no, yeah. like I feel like I easier said than done, but I feel like I would be okay being like okay, like mentally, like now I know that's not an option, and like we're just friends and like cool. I would be worried if like they thought it was weird or if other people right. thought it was weird. Um, even if it did go like well and there was interest and then like things end in a month like does that just like nuke the group i don't know like did you ever deal with that when you uh with your girlfriend uh or anything similar a little bit a little bit uh my girlfriend so we met through friends like via friends but she was like my friend group was like 10 guys and then Mm -hmm. like two guys is two guys is Two guys, girlfriends. And everyone else kind of had their own, you know, like they had like friends, whatever. And then my buddy went to high school with my girlfriend. She transferred to Binghamton. And they started hanging out a lot. And then I met her through that. And then she was like kind of pseudo a part of the group. Like there sometimes, not there all the time. Things like that, right? Mm -hmm. And my thing wasn't like if if i pursued her if i was interested in her i didn't think it was going to ruin the friendship because it would make things awkward between her and i yeah i would i thought it would be awkward if she said no or i ended up you know we dated and broke up like after a month i thought it'd be awkward for like my buddy who is good friends with her went to high school with her has known her forever and then i'm just like oh sorry man like i just broke up with your friend or oh sorry she just broke up with me it didn't work out like i thought that like i was more worried about that honestly uh which still i mean it's it's it would still be like a little bit awkward but honestly for me i was never super worried about that because the interest between her and i was pretty like we we clicked pretty quickly like it was one of those things it was like we knew each other through like a group project the semester before we started dating and we were just friends then and it was like pretty clear we were just friends and then you know the summer comes and goes and you hear a thing or two like from another friend like oh i heard she was asking about you or oh you know things like that and then it was like pretty clear oh maybe this could go somewhere and you know so I, I was really never worried about that. But to kind of jump off of your point. I almost feel like it like, yeah, you, there's like a time to do it. Right. And I think the time is more it's sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. Because if I because the way I feel it is like you guys have been friends for what a month. Yeah. If that. And it's almost like it's more normal to like meet someone and then a month later be like, Hey, I'm interested in you. And then she can be like, Oh, sorry, I'm not. Or, Oh, sorry. Maybe whatever. As opposed to you guys have been, maybe she has the feelings now, but if it, if you don't show the interest, she's going to be like, all right, I guess he's not interested. And then forget about it. You know, like I almost feel like there's almost that it's not first impressions. Cause you guys have known each other mm-hmm. for a month, but it's almost like, that first, you know, the way the first 
aspect you view someone. The first yeah. month you view that like person. Compartmentalize them into like a certain box. And yeah. It's kind of like the friend zone thing a little bit too. A little bit, but it, it, it's, yeah, I'm not just saying it like expire or anything, but it's like, yeah, you, you the, the view you change of someone, you know, after a month, if they haven't showed interest, you're like, all right, well, maybe they're not going to be, they're not a romantic partner by any means or something like that. I don't know if that answers what you're thinking, but I don't think it's like, but I guess my point is though, if you do say, Hey, I have interest in you, it's so new that if she's just like, Oh, sorry, I'm not like, I think you guys can get over that pretty quick. You know what I mean? I think it'd be harder if you were friends for a year said this and she was like, Oh, I'm not interested. And then it was like, okay, well, we'll be been a part of our lives. You know, we've been a part of each other's lives for, for like a year. What do we do now? True. If it's a month, I still think there's that room to be like, okay, we just hurdle over it, keep going, keep moving. And we can still be friends, you know, something like that, if that makes yeah. sense. True. No, that's fair. I guess I just got to figure out how to do that. And it's like, if I'm only ever like seeing her within the group, like how do I like ask her to go do something? Or Right. I mean, do you have a number or anything? Yeah. But like, should I like do that? Over? I don't know. Have you guys ever texted? Yeah, a little. Not a lot. She texted me out of the blue because we were talking about scary movies and told me about sure. the show. And now I'm watching it. Because apparently I'm a sim. But um Joe, you see it makes you know. I don't I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And yeah, like those rumblings you were talking about. Like when you hear like from a friend something oh yeah it's like someone else saying like oh what about them too like what do you think to someone else and then that like got back to me so it's like third person like fourth person oh i see what you're saying yeah Mm. so it wasn't like that's something that's not nothing i mean it could be nothing but i don't think it's nothing yeah that doesn't sound like nothing i don't know because it could be almost five dimensional chess here. Mm. She plants. I sound like a psycho here. If she if, if she ever watches this, she's gonna be like, "Who the who the hell is this guy?" Five dimensional chess here. She plants in someone else's head to plant in someone else's head. Oh, maybe they mm. think that, that that person thinks that you two would be a good couple, and then yeah, that but actually, now I think about it, she also said she said to my other friend. Like, oh, what about me and this other person? So then I was, so that's when I it like kind of tanked in my head and I was like, oh, like maybe she's just not interested in me at all. Which would be fine. Like, you know, like I don't take offense to that. It's just like now I'm just like confused. Yeah. But maybe I should just try and like and then if it fails, like then I just know. I um which is normally where I land. It's just normally it's like if you don't uh, then I get stuck in like I feel like I've experienced like pulling that trigger too fast and then like nothing really developed beforehand. And then it was like, you just nuked any chance of anything ever becoming anything, but I don't know. Yeah. I remember part of me is also like, if this is difficult, like I'm also in Charlotte in a city of like a billion people. Yeah. Like it's a big market. Right. So it's like, should I even like worry about that? And then I don't know. Go date a Carolina Panther, you know? Yeah, I should. Um, I should go date Bryce Young. I heard he's uh got some time. He uh yeah, he does, unfortunately. I don't know why they're not starting him, but not to get into that more sports talk, because we can only use sports as metaphors now. <laughs> um but yeah, I don't know. I mean it's 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 an interesting yeah, I got kind of lucky because I, my girlfriend was talking to one of my buddies, um and I don't remember the context of the conversation. But he basically asked her, like, oh, would you ever be interested in anyone in the group? He wasn't asking for himself that much. I, like, I know that for a fact. He wasn't asking that question for herself. And she was like, no, you no. Well, actually, Ian, I would. And, I was, and then that got back to me. And I was like, oh. Mm. Mm. That, that definitely, like, gives you, like, the oh, green I light. The, yeah, I got the inside yeah. trap. Yeah. Inside information. And then, you know, two years later. Look at us now. That's kind of what I've been saying. Like, there's other girls in this group, and they have are they'll talk about like guys are interested in whatever, and 
they'll be like, I wish guys would just like come up and like say something to me or whatever. And, or like, I'm interested in this guy. I wish he would. It's on, it's on him to make the first move. Right. Right. And that's like, they would say to me and I'd say, yes, is what I tell them. But I was like, if you want it to happen, you can definitely like make it seem, you can definitely like open a window for him to like have the like green light to do it. Like, right. yes, it's on, I feel like it's on the guy to do that, to like make the first move and like actually, actually initiate it. But on like the girl's perspective, like you can make it like very clear. Yeah. Like it's good for him to do that because on the guy's side, like the last thing you want is to make someone feel uncomfortable. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to yeah. say. The biggest the word like the last thing i want to do is like make especially a person i don't like a stranger like yeah. the last thing i want to do is make a, a a stranger a woman who doesn't know me uncomfortable because they're if i make them uncomfortable they're going to assume the worst and i also don't want to make them feel like unsafe or like like in danger you know anything like that because you know people like that unfortunately do exist and it's just like yeah like the last thing i want to do is make someone feel uncomfortable yeah and, and then at the time, girls will say that, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I like looked at him and like gave him like the eyes across the room." And it's like, "Come on!" Like sometimes I'm like, "Really?" Contact. Like I make awkward eye contact with like every single person in this bar. Like what? Like yeah, what does that sure. mean? Like that's for not sure. as I feel like that's just not as obvious as they think it is. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Especially when you do it, make eye contact and look away. Like oh, like that was an accident. Yeah. You just stare them down like just like this. Then you just yeah, I don't know, man. So uh maybe in my weekly goals, I'll just like should I get that bold and say within the next week, I'll know the answer. Within the next week, get married. Get married. Have uh, kids. Have kids in the next put week. my kids in school. Put my kids through grad school. Yeah. Yeah. But uh yeah, so that's kind of my uh my it's, it's, predicament. Dude, it's like it's so tough when you don't know for sure because there's always that yeah. like not even just like it's not even really facing rejection. It's more like I feel like I can handle that though. Like I if she, if right. I like went up to her and I was like, "Hey, like you want to go like do something whatever." So uh, yeah. I'm interested in you. Yeah. I'm interested in getting to know you more, blah, blah, blah. And then if she like said, no, I'm not interested in that. Like, yeah, that'd suck. But like, I feel like I can handle that. It's the, yeah. the aspect of then like the next time we all hang out and then it like gets around and it's like awkward. And like, I don't know, again, that's probably just on me to then not make it awkward. Right. Yeah. I mean, realistically, yeah. so realistically, like I probably just should and just like, figure it out one way or the other so it's not just like on my mind yeah i mean i guess you're at a, a certain point like you're at a certain age where it's sort of like oh okay like life kind of goes on like kind of life moves. you know what i mean like you're at an age where you can kind of yeah yeah not just yourself but like your friends like even in my friend group like people have been you know we're direct rejected by other friends and it's sort of just like oh okay yeah. Yeah, you move on. Keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. Just time and time, you know, time heals all wounds. Um, that's what I'm saying. The earlier you do it, not to say you should do it right. Now. Don't, you know, run to her apartment right now and be like, hey, <laughs> like <up>? boombox. <laughs> Throw stones at her window. Playing playing like a scary movie, Rockwell. Uh what's, what's up? But um yeah, no, it's 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 a but like it's it can be thrilling. It's thrilling at the same time. Yeah. In, in a lot of ways but maybe i'll text her today and ask her to do something this weekend and then we can revisit this yeah yeah we don't have to revisit it we don't have to but all right that that's we're gonna get into our goals of the week my goal of the week is to your goal of the next hour goal of the next five minutes um goal of the week is to get more clarity on the situation Maybe that's a good one. Yeah. I'll ask her to do something. And like, and the way I will do that is I'll ask her to do something one-on-one and then kind of like gauge her response off that. Right. 
Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I mean, if I do it and then she's like, oh, like, that sounds fun, but like, I can't. uh," And like, makes no effort to like say, like, oh, but let's do it. Then I'll be like, okay, you're not interested and you're like soft rejecting me. Like, that's probably. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be, listen, that's valid. Um, from them if they want if that if they so choose you know free will exactly all right what's your goal uh so last week my goal was to make considerable progress on a project i'm working on right which i would say i completed didn't complete the project completed my goal of making the timeline has been extended timeline has been extended uh because it's uh i just don't have as much time as i would like sure um but yeah it's going well and i actually i think i said i was going to show you some of it last week this week and i can do that after we yeah, do it. but yeah it's been good it's been a lot of fun it's like uh, making the, the projects i've sort of made the, the the projects i'm most proud of i guess i should say that i've made while i'm making them there's moments where I'm like, oh, that's super cool. Like, how did I come up with that kind of thing? Like, oh, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. And then you watch it over a million times and then you're like, this is horrible. Like, this looks so – like, when you're creating something, you just watch it over a million times. And so you sort of lose that – it loses the spectacle a little bit. Sure. And I'm at that point where I'm making it not to say, like, I, I know I said earlier where I was like, oh, wow, how did I do this? Like, I'm not going to say that that's I'm at that point yet with this project by any means. I'm not it's not close to being done, but I'm at that point where I've been going back and forth over the early parts of the project, trying to, you know, make it fit, make it work, get the timing down. Mm -hmm. and it's at a point where i'm like i keep watching it over and i'm like oh this the first time i watched it this was really cool and now i'm like is this even good kind of thing like this is kind of i still have to do work on it but i'm like this could be a lot better so um i guess goal for this week not not really going off of that at all but goal for this week is continue to make progress on it i want to hmm I don't know. I I, mean, I, I, wanna, I don't want to repeat my goal of cons- making considerable progress because that's kind of hard to gauge. I, I, yeah, I guess I can just continue to make progress on it because I don't think it'll be done by the next week. Um, but maybe it will be. Uh, there's a chance. I guess it depends on if I cut it down or not. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun, though, I guess is my point. Is It has been a whole lot of fun, and that has been a really cool, like, late nights slash days off working on that and a lot of it's a lot of the work i've done so far is just writing um but actually editing i've edited a good portion of it as well and that's what i'm referring to when i'm saying oh i keep watching it over i'm watching over the parts i've edited and being like is this even good is this even good blah 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 blah. Uh, so continue editing um i'm gonna either have done finalize the script because the script's almost done i mean it is done it's more about refining it but yeah i just continue to make considerable progress and then maybe maybe by this time next week have a date i want to release it that could be it could be something that's what i'll go that's what i'll go with sure all right well that concludes the fred jackson episode thank you all for watching leave a like Leave a comment, subscribe. Maybe we'll get a, a double digit, like 20 views on this one. Hopefully, we'll get- hopefully th- there's some people that I hope don't watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I hope we get 22 views exactly. Um, yeah. No, that would be a great tribute to Freddie. Would be a great 22. No, uh, what are we saying? 22 million views. 22 outside trillion of, views. Outside of the people. Most that- viewed video of all time. Outside of the people in the Charlotte, it's greater, time to defeat Panic in Style or whatever is the most viewed. All right. Well, next week we got twenty three, and we'll definitely have some numbers from that. There's like literally infinite, um, a million, um, a not again, not LeBron, not Michael Jordan, but uh, Cam Akers. Cam All Akers. right. Peace out, everybody.